Scorpios, welcome back. Okay, Scorps. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to jump right into... Oh my, let me clear this real quick. We're going to jump right into your next 48. Now, Scorpios, if this resonates, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. If it doesn't resonate, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box. For those of you... Um, all the information for personals and classes are in the description box for you. Um, go ahead and like the video, you guys. It really helps out the channel here. Don't just watch the videos. Go ahead and thumbs it up as well before leaving um, this video. It really, really, really helps. Um, so let's just get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Guides. Remove anything that is the negative and replace it with light for Scorpio as I read. Okay. Um, for the next 48 hours for Scorpio's energy. Thank you, Angel Guide, for being here and protecting me through this transition for Scorpio. Thank you. All right. So let's just see what we have. Next 48 for Scorpio's energy. The next 48 for Scorpio's energy. Let's see. My cats want to do some things. <clears throat> oh. Okay, you have the Empress. You have the world in reverse. You have the Five of Pentacles. Hmm, interesting. The window is open, you guys, so that's what you see. Okay, this is crazy. Um, I'm just getting like there's an incompletion here, okay? There's some kind of prayer. There's some kind of asking the universe to bring something together. I'm also seeing some kind of positive energy. Someone is really fighting a transition with you. Look at this. Look at this. The Six of Swords, you got the Knight of Wands, you got this um, Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy as well. I just had this beautiful energy for you, um, Scorpio, something amazing is about to happen. I love positive vibes. I love positive energy. And I'm seeing like that is happening for you. Someone is putting something together look at this rainbow here the temperance is like trust within us trust within the universe trust within a divine god trust that everything is being nurtured trust that everything is being taken care of trust that everything is on time nothing is off of time nothing is off of track everything is on track for those of you who feel like are you on track yes you are um the angels are saying to choose yourself right now though you do not believe in this you do not believe in yourself at this time there was something that happened here with the five of pentacles where you felt some coldness some abandonment like someone treated you unfairly look at this person standing over you you know there's a lot of hardships here within this home this could be your home okay that you're just having a lot of hardships here, a lot of experience here with coldness, with abandonment, with money, and a lot of unfortunate times. For those of you who thought this was going to go this way and it ended up going the other way. Like, that's what I'm getting here. Okay? So, let's see. All right, so like I said, a lot of positivity here. A lot of planting positive seeds. This is what I'm seeing. Someone is coming right to you. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. I'm getting Sag here, you guys, in Major Arcana. But then you have the world here, and that is uh, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Leo, sometimes even Scorpio. And then you have Virgo here. Then you have Gemini here again. So... Take that for who resonates with that. That's your confirmation. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Next 48. I just feel like there was a transition that happened. A breakup. 
a possible breakup you guys something that occurred and i just feel like this person is not ready this person is saying like i don't want this to happen but you know it's like in that moment they didn't do anything to stop it and i'm seeing now that this person is rushing towards you because of physical aspect there's a lot of passion behind this um i'm just getting like they miss you okay um tell me more tell me more holy spirit it's like they realize how amazing you are like you know this is what i'm getting this was a friendship for some of you that just didn't went well or this was someone at work or school but there was also a lesson here to be learned yeah i'm getting like a, a reboot like this person wants to re to rebuild with you we have the tower here we have scorpio aries energy for those of you who are dealing with a fire sign or another scorpio okay so you have the moon you have pisces that's also showing up here hmm interesting so within this energy i'm just seeing that there are so many things that you don't know you felt like this person was keeping secrets from you this person was lying to you you feel like somebody was out to get you you felt unsafe within this relationship i'm just seeing like you needed answers and this person wasn't providing that tell me about the six of swords thank you holy spirit the strength oh leo energy so there was a lot of stubbornness here as well angel michael is appearing in this too you know you have raphael with the temperance you have angel michael presenting courage and strength raphael is presenting healing okay balance within the temperance choosing self within the temperance <clears throat> self-love you guys But I'm just seeing like <sighs> there is something that was happening here within the six, and I'm just seeing the six as the strength where there weren't there wasn't much gentleness within this relationship. And this is something that is needed. But I'm also seeing a lot of stubbornness, so tell me more. The star, Aquarius energy. Ooh, you have a lot of major arcanas coming through in the next 48. You have the devil as well. Capricorn. <laughs> For those of you who are dealing with Aquarius or Capricorn, here it is. But you feel like there was something that was going on between you and this person with the three. I keep going back to the three. And it's like giving me vibes of, you know, not being on the same page with each other. I'm also seeing no real true investment within this relationship, but this person is willing to jump right back in. <laughs> There's going to be an opportunity here for you and this person to kind of have this opportunity, but this person needs to truly invest. So I'm just feeling like this person has no money or no, because I'm getting all these pentacles in reverse, okay? All these pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of loss here. Well, this one is not, but this one is still lost within the five of pentacles being in the upright. <laughs> There's a lot of loss. All right. I just feel like this one is having difficulties with some form of addiction here. There is a huge delay within movement as well. Like it is so slow within this relationship this connection that's coming through is crazy you're going to be shook when this person comes around with this night out of nowhere but where where is it going to go you know okay you're coming but what are you going to do so let's see tell me about the knight of wands what's the energy behind the knight of wands holy spirit <clears throat> 
Wow, the Three of Cups. You know, there is some kind of third party situation here. Okay, some kind of shadiness here. I want to get more information, please, with that Knight of Wands and that Three of Cups energy. Yeah, look at this. This person is not really there to make things right. I feel like it's more like a physical attraction that this person is coming towards you. They miss you, like I said before. Their fear is that you're going to move on with someone else. They are, you know, coming towards you with this a force of attraction. This person has a, you know, some kind of issue because here they have a third party situation, some kind of sh uh, shadiness that you felt like that was going on within the moon. You felt this. Okay, you felt this energy. And now there's like no, like, I'm just not getting any trust because you're not proceeding. This person wants to jump in with the fools, but this is also you as well. So you're going back and forth with this energy. It's like you're fighting this ace of, like you're fighting this fools with this ace of wands. Like you're putting a stop to it. You know, this action, this lust, this love, whatever this is, because this ace of wands is a passionate card as well. So you're using this one to put a delay with this new beginning, like this new start, this fresh start, this zero, you know, this, you're going through a transition. Look at the butterfly. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there it is. Butterfly, the sun, you know, you have the fools, this childish energy, this person make you feel very young. You know, this is someone that you, this is why you like this person, because they bring that, that youngness out of you, that childish energy, like running around the car kind of vibe, playing tag with each other. I don't know. <laughs> this person just keeps you young. Um, or this person could be young, or you both could be young. But I'm just seeing like you're just wanting to jump right back in, but you're really fighting that. Tell me more. Ooh, look at that. There is way too much love here. There is way too much love. Oh, my. So you're fighting not making any move, which is killing you. Ooh, this Ace of Wands. You're using this Ace of Wands to not make movements, to make a pause on this relationship. This is not even what you want to do. I always tell my clients, look, you're going to go through trials and tribulations in your life because that's the purpose of life. But if you love someone and you're killing yourself not to be with them because of what they did and you're dying inside, <laughs> what's the point? You need to pray for yourself, pray for this person. If you want to be with them, be with them because life is just not promised. Deal with the deal with the, the situation together. If this person wants to figure things out with you, deal with it. But don't put yourself through agony missing this person. And all you want to do is be in love. All you want to do is be with them through, through it all. But you're so like the stubbornness, because this is stubborn. This is ace, this is Leo, Saj, Eries energy in reverse. For those of you who have fire energy in your chart, you know, that's what I've learned. Like, listen, <laughs> it's all about L-O-V-E in this experience, you guys. Choose love, not fear. Choose love, not fear. Choose love, not fear. And now I'm not saying if this person is beating you or whatever this is to be with them. But I'm just saying like, listen. Listen. Okay. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. We have the Queen of Swords. I'm saying like if this relationship is buildable, you know, and it's like other people and they're pasa pasa, <laughs> then it could be, it could work. It could work. If you feel like this, if you feel like this, both of you want to be with each other. It says it in the cards. That's what I'm, I'm bringing it up. You're, you're using a lot of energy, way too much. You're going to feel so tired and drained by doing this to yourself, knowing that you love this person, you your cup overflow for this person. This is why it's so hard for you to move on. It's like you chose this person already, you know? I'm also seeing a, a conversation taking place in the next 48. I'm also seeing the Nine of Swords here. Like there's going to be a lot of release with um, stress, anxiety, 
going back and forth with yourself, double, you know, not believing in yourself, like you're releasing the force of energy, a lot of fear here too. This is what I'm seeing, a lot of fear. And then I'm seeing the Queen of Wands as well. So this person looks at you as a nurturing energy, a motherly energy, okay? Looks at you as a motherly energy. Tell me more. Here, tell me more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. The Judgment. Aries energy. Libra energy. There's a decision that needs to be made with you, the angels are saying, because they're not making it. <laughs> they're saying, like, you need to make that decision. You have the Seven of Wands trying to show itself. You have the Ten of Pentacles on the back of the deck. So there's going to be a lot of letting go. Like, this person who is um, holding back from you or keeping things from you is going to be letting go or losing control of something okay this is what's making this relationship really iffy because it looks like a lot of you built some kind of foundation a family you have some kind of accounts together maybe even marriage here that is just in this impossible at this moment and i'm seeing that there was a lot of you know not feeling like this person loves you wants you within the five of wands a lot of you know conflicts a lot of arguments like this person is starting to argue with you for no apparent reason like you just feel aggravated around each other i'm seeing the death here well this is going to be taking like this person wants to resolve this you know everything that this person is trying to keep from you is out in the open and i'm seeing this person in the future trying to resolve this situation i'm also seeing the death here scorpio you have not moved on unless you're dating another scorpio we have not moved on, you guys. You're stuck. You're stuck on each other. Um, and I'm also seeing, again, conversation here within the future being cut. Here is a conversation in the present that's going to be had. So this is an opportunity. This is the opportunity that the Holy Spirit is trying to put together. But a lot of you, because I'm seeing stubbornness here, you're going to be in a block energy if you're not careful. Okay in the future a blocked energy if you want this to work you you have to be open um this is what i'm seeing here there's no true decision here yet anymore For eight hours seven of swords you have the seven of swords that's coming up too the seven of swords you have the queen of pentacles the two of swords energy there is a lot of lies here that is still not out in the open just like how you feel stuck here or restricted or this person is trying to make you feel stuck and restricted. But I'm also seeing like there's some kind of confident issues that are going on within this energy. All right. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords, Holy Spirit. Yeah, a lot of you are waiting for this person in the Three of Wands to get back. This could be that this person is long distance or this person is just emotionally or physically distant from you. But I'm seeing like they're in some kind of situation right now. This person could already be moved on, you guys. And just like coming back and forth with you. This is what I'm getting and you're ready for something else. And oh my God, some of you, I'm just getting like I was first kind of energy. Like he was with me first and we broke up and he had someone else. And then now we're back together. Um, or she, this is her and you, I mean. I'm just getting that vibe. Tell me more. Because now this person is looking back and they still are in another situation here. Because, all right. The four, the wheel of fortune. They're going to have to make a choice between two things here. Look at that. Then you have the chariot in reverse. They're confused. They're confused. They don't know who they want to be with. I just knew that was going on. So I just, it's like a lot of coldness here. Okay, there's an incompletion. Of course, this person is going to return with that incompletion because the Wheel of Fortune 
it's showing up in the upright, but there is still something that needs to be learned between you and this person. All right, so this person is looking at you as a six of wands. So they are watching you within the three of wands, okay? Watching your accomplishments here, your successes. You know, they want to come back and resolve this five of wands. This came up twice, and this is just a confirmation that they want to resolve the, the fight in, you know? That energy of you guys not being on the same page or you guys being different or cut from different cloths here. Um, you guys, you know, being hot and cold, yin and yang, you know? And they want to resolve this. They want to see if something could work here. There was some form of breakup. You see what I'm saying? There was some kind of breakup. This is being lifted, okay? Because it's fate bringing you guys back together. There's something needs to be learned within the lesson, within the Wheel of Fortune, all right? But this person is in another situation. This person doesn't know who to choose, all right, and I'm also seeing similarities. So there's also a contract here between you and this person. I'm getting the King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy in the upright. So a lot of you have the same interests. A lot of you have, um, like you might work with your hands, something with your hands. Maybe you're a painter or it's like I'm just seeing you create things or you put things together for those of you. There's a lot of handwork here. I know a lot of people, like, whatever you do, you have to use your hands, but there's a lot of, like, deep hands work here. Or some of you probably um, create, like, I'm seeing a team and present or make displays or something like that. But I'm seeing, like, very creative energy. You like you bring things to life, both of you do. I'm just seeing like this could be. Well, I'm getting also influencers or some kind of celebrity status here or some kind of large following. Maybe you guys have your your shop on the internet or you're always on the computer. Maybe you you model or something or model your hands. I don't know. Maybe you model jewelry. Um, maybe you do this, you know, what I do right here, because I'm using my hands right now. Um, but I'm just seeing like, it's just like you, you bring so much things to life here. You're all about success and making the right decisions. I mean, both of you are, but this person make, made their bed. I feel like what I'm seeing here is like, wow, this person, like somebody was saying you first, like I was first. That's what I was hearing. Like, I was first, but there was a breakup here. This person found someone else, and now you guys are trying to get back together. But this, as you can see, this person is still into something, you guys. This person needs to make a decision. They're also looking at you as an empress, because you're coming up as a lot of queens here. Queen energy, queen vibe. The queen of swords, the queen of wands, the queen of pentacles. <clears throat> Like they looking at you as that that energy so they know that you're the better option but you guys can't <laughs> it's like you have the similar energies but you just can't get along you got that twice over the five of wands you have the four three of pentacles teamwork nah not together separately sure but not together and plus there's no investment no investment no stability within this relationship. This relationship as is cold. It's cold when it comes to stability. So no one, so for some of you, you're a secret. You are a secret. And that's crazy. You have the two of cups in reverse. There's a breakup here. There's a breakup here. This relationship is also built on lies because I'm seeing like this person has a lot of lies that they have told and you have no, no idea. No idea. Tell me more. You have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords. That's also coming up. Look at that. Two of Pentacles, you guys. This person is... This person right here. <laughs> this person is two-timing you. They don't want to choose, but they want to see, like... 
they have a lot of love for you have a second chance but they don't want to choose they're not going to choose they're not going to dump this person that they're with right now they're going to want to try to be with you and see how it goes but they're not going to choose between you or someone else I feel like they want to they want to see who's the best option because they already had you and you and them has arguments, fights, tussles, you know. Plus this person has some form of addiction situation going on here within the devil. This person has some huge ego situation here going on with the devil energy. Um Something about not being gentle, you guys, within this situation. I don't know. Like, this relationship wasn't feeling as gentle. This relationship was very, um, it was very tough. Tell me more. The Three of Pentacles is also showing up here. You guys, my internet is not working. It stopped again after last night of waiting for like five, what is it? Five hours to upload. And this is why you're getting your videos today from yesterday. So, um, you know, y'all. So you're going to see a lot of uploads today. But I don't know if that's going to even happen. They're coming today at 3. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully they get it fixed. But I only had this internet for like a month and a half. And they're already showing issues. Okay? Okay. Um, so I, I, I'm just hoping that infinity get themselves together so they can come where I'm at really soon because I had infinity and they are the best. They are the best. I never had this problem where my internet is just gone. It's crazy in and out like what? But you know, let's put it in the divine hands. Everything happens for a reason. Trust me. It does. All right, so <clears throat> we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands. This is what I'm seeing here. So you're going to have a choice. It's like this person is giving you a choice. This is what I'm getting. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of instability here within this connection. This person is giving you just a piece of the pie <laughs> just a piece of the pie look the page of pentacles starting like from scratch like there is like like just trying to maybe plan a date or something to give back you know that small that's what this person is trying to do i mean tell me about the six <clears throat> holy spirit holy angels holy father tell me about the six please Tell me about this six energy. Ooh, this could be marriage. Oh my gosh. This could be someone that is old fashioned as well. This could be someone that is older. This could be a Taurus. <sighs> Making a decision. Very stubborn energy, you guys. We're dealing with a hard head. You have Capricorn. You have Taurus. You have Leo. This person is a hard head. You have Aries. Then you have the tower, Aries and Scorpio. For those of you who are dealing with a Scorpio with this energy, oh my God. Scorpio, you know how you are already. So imagine if you had all of this with someone. Damn. That's so hard to deal with. Okay, so... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Tell me more about this hyperant. Oop. Oop. The three of swords in reverse. Three of swords in reverse, you guys. This person broke your heart in the past. There was a third party situation that you knew about. There was something that happened that you knew about that broke your heart. And you had to let this go. This is why a lot of you broke up the first time. Okay, I'm also getting this could be a cycle because you have the Wheel of Fortune plus the world, like I said before. So, Scorpio. One more and then we're going to close. Wow. For Scorpio. Look at that. The King of Cups in reverse. There is a lot of emotional manipulation here within this situation. A lot of insecurities within this relationship because of what happened even though you forgave and you let go of this it's still like so emotional 
you know let me just go closer here emotional manipulation this is what i'm getting i hope this resonates scorpio if it does you know what to do and i'll see you guys in your next read bye guys